Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Wasteland 2. This is episode 29, and our people are looking okay. They're not they're not great. I mean, they're definitely hurting a little bit after the last last few little meh things that have happened. But you know what? That's okay. They're allowed to look a little worse of the wear. I mean, they've been through a lot. It it's true. I mean, like it or not, it is the way it is. All right, so let's continue on. We apparently have made a few good decisions in the past couple of episodes. So that is a very, very good thing. We find a trap. Well, we know how to deal with traps. Usually. Usually we do. Do, 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 do. Success! Alright. So, bullets. Eh, not the greatest thing in the world. Eh, not the worst. I suppose it's okay. All right, we're going to get our grouping of folks back together. Hopefully you guys are enjoying XCOM, Long War, and the LP thereof. I do still plan to put out quite a few episodes of this throughout the course of history. Now, uh, throughout the course of each week. I gave it a couple days rest because I'm also trying to get a little bit of headway made on Grimrock 2. The game is quite fun. Ooh. This is Pitbull. A little birdie told me you're the asshole that let my cattle out of their pen. Uh, you fuck with my fuck. <gasps> I fuck with you. <gasps> you get me? That's right, you whore thieves. Uh, or whore thieves. Well, I guess we upset Pitbull by breaking up his, uh... His whore thieving ring? Overpass? Underpass? You decide. This does seem somewhat troubling. I'm not gonna lie, I hear dogs as well, which which makes me a little uncomfortable. And for good reason, apparently. Uh, dang, we couldn't shoot in time. Well, at least we found the patrol. The dog's gonna roll up on us. Fortunately, he's not gonna do much. But at the same time, he did seem to make our woman a little nervous here. Hmm. That is somewhat troubling, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, well, I guess we have to switch over from burst fire to single shot. Okay, we don't really have the best shot here, but we'll take what we do have. And we'll try to make it work. Oh, we missed that guy. Well, these guys are pretty, uh, pretty decent, I gotta say. Well, we should start falling back. I don't know when... Oh, here he comes. That's gonna leave a lot. Oh, he killed his own dog. The fool! Oh, but there's more coming. Where's our animal whisperer? Get a shot at him. 90% miss. Why not? I thought I was gonna be away from the bad RNG switching to this game from the XCOM, but apparently that is not the case. Right, let's take a double shot. We only hit one. It is unfortunate, but it is what it is. The feral dog is out of range. Hopefully he can't shoot through the... Okay, looks like we're good. The puppy is down. And it looks like Bilbo Stabbins is going to have to roll out on this guy. That's probably going to be somewhat painful and more than a little unsatisfying, but eh, it is what it is. Alright, 64%. We'll switch back to burst fire. It's not great. Can we kneel? We can. Maybe it'll increase our, uh... Chance to hit a little. Oh, the weapon jammed. Well, that's... 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 That's okay. Why not, right? Alright, we'll come over here. Can't really do anything to him just now. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll eat the shot. Oh, and he ran in deep. That's kind of foolish. I don't know if I would have done that if I were him, but okay. We're lucky, and he is very unlucky. Oh, no, he dodged that shot. That wasn't too bad. He's lucky as well with some bonus AP moving here. Bam! Cutty, cutty, slash, slash. Bam! Down he goes. We really need another weapon for him. Like, seriously. Seriously need it. Um, is our gun jammed still? No? Oh, that's... Okay, never mind. That's our sniper. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna crouch with him and maybe go into ambush mode. If anybody decides... Oh, gosh, what are you... Can unjam her gun. Excellent. And I suppose we wait for our buddy to come up. 
Bam! What? Look at that Overwatch ambush stuff. It's it's smexy. It is definitely smexy. All right, we're gonna move up to the front. Bilbo's gonna get behind him. She's gonna have to move up. Is he in range? He is. Take the shot. Oh, and all three hit? Maybe? Or at least two. Definitely two shot. Right, we'll, we'll take it, and we said good day. We're out of combat, and eh, relatively unheard. I mean, not... You know, Rose got a little cut up. It wasn't the end of the world, though. Well, you know what? Why don't we take a look? And we, we should use the Sutra Kit. Just because using a bigger health kit, considering we're actually going through the health kits relatively fast, probably not the best idea. And it gives us additional um, uh, experience, not monies, but experience. Anti-venom, we'll take that. And a bloody tuft of fur, that's fine. We'll roll out a little bit further. And let's see here, small medic pack, yes. And some junk to distribute. Alright, so we managed to survive the patrol, though getting into position in time would have been a little bit better than not getting that first shot off, but eh. Even still, I think we did okay. Look how clean this equipment is. It's like, it's brand new. I hear chickens. Lots and lots of chickens. And other various things. Oh, this is the uh, All Water Farm Happy Valley. All right. Well, I don't want to go there just yet. Let's go check, take a look over to the right. See, we're kind of bordering the entire area for him, and apparently he had some uh, some thugs on staff. So, oh, it was a foreman. Okay, some some conversation as opposed to some killversation. Eh, eh. No. Okay. I'm sorry. I tried, guys. I tried. I failed. I knows it. Well, you know, what do you expect from whore thieves, after all? I mean, come on. We're not exactly the most upstanding of citizens. And we steal whores. I mean, how much lower can you possibly go? Or did we set them free? Well, there's a downed helicopter. Maybe that's Tresha. Maybe there's a bomb. Who knows? Let's say skinny jeans or stinky jeans. I don't know. I've heard it both ways. Well, so far, I gotta say, I'm not overwhelmingly impressed with anything. Criminals in a prison, how apt. If only we could lock them in. Alright, and what does, does this sign say? It doesn't say anything. Oh, it says Danger Mines. Okay, so there's gonna be some more mines. Interesting. Alright, well, knowing how I like to blow myself up, this truck looks like it was designed to crash through barricades. Now it's become one. Okay, that's fine. All right, it's fine. We'll take it. Don't really need it, but we'll take it. Can we find some more mines, please. Perception, go. Really, it was just the one mine, huh? One more step, Rangers. Take just one more step. I'm begging you. Okay. Do we know why you're begging us to take just one more step? There, I took one more step. Surprise! Hey, that's a thing. What is it? The toaster is in need of repairs. Oh, snippity snap, toaster repair time. Let's get our toaster repairer over here. Does he have any chance? Nope. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll continue to... One more step, Rangers. You've already take said this. One more step. You need a new line, buddy. We have to go real slow here because there could be landmines anywhere. Could even be in a boat. Alright, this does look like a bad place to go. One that I don't think I want to go to. Alright, oh gosh. Nope. Nope. Uh uh. Not going that way. That looks very, very, very detrimental to our health. We're not going to go that road. That road, that road or route. Okay, I was looking down here at intercom. Hmm. It's 
was wondering who it was that was telling us to take just one more step, Rangers. Just one more step. But it didn't say. Alright, so I guess we go to the farm. I'm not sure we should tangle with giant guns right now. It does seem a little bit bad. I mean, we have giant guns on Bilbo Stabbins, to be sure, but that doesn't really help us in comparison with the ones that actually shoot bullets. So... Yeah. Looks like we're going to go through the front door of the farm of death and hope that we... How will I ever pay what I owe? Well, these folks are living high on the hog. The farm looks like it dropped in from a better, happier world. A tidy little farmhouse surrounded by a white picket fence. Fields full of crops, a barn full of healthy pigs and cows, and a white-haired farmer smoking a pipe on that front porch. It's so idyllic that it makes you want to cry. What's the deal? Something doesn't smell right. There's a lot of form in here. A round-faced old fellow in a plaid shirt and denim overalls. He looks like every child's favorite grandpa. Uh, everything this guy is wearing is awfully clean, and so are his hands. No dirt under his nails, and no calluses on his palms. Hi, folks. Welcome to our farm. I'm Jim Arter. Feel free to look around. The RSM said potential homesteaders would be dropping by now and then to see how good life could be in Happy Valley. Just, uh, don't bother the field hands. They're too busy to talk. What is the RSM? I think I keep saying RMS. I don't know. RSM. RMS just it flows better. It's fine. That dude's got a gun. Uh, RSM Enterprises. They're nice folk who are turning this dusty old backwater into a thriving farming community. I could I couldn't couldn't have got this farm up and running without him. Yerp. It's a sad fact that some of the local farmers around here just couldn't make a go of it. Well, I couldn't stand to see him racked and ruin or go rack and ruin, so I hired him to do chores around my place just until they get back on their feet. Pay it forward, that's my motto. And what is Happy Valley? Well, it ain't exactly happy yet. I'll allow that. But it's early days yet. Sure. Things can turn around here. I'm living proof. Alright. Goodbye, Jim. I'm kind of confused as to why so many of these guys seem to be very, very, very ready to blow us to pieces. Hmm. So, if I had to take my guess, and I suppose I don't technically have to... Ooh, Job. He seems like a guy... Or Hobe. Uh, he seems like a guy that would actually be very useful. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do at this point is spread my peeps out. Because there's a few guys that, well, really seem to want to hurt us a lot. And I'd rather not get hurt a lot if I can help it. So, yeah, we're going to go that route. We're going to actually select everybody as we swap weapons, make sure everything is fully reloaded. And reload everything else, and then go back to what we were doing before. And I think with woman, we're going to actually go talk to Kobe, who's guarding the chickens. Who? I'm not doing... Oh, rangers! Thank God! Watch your step, we're working here. You can tell he was a big man once, with broad shoulders and strong hands. Now he's a scarecrow, bent and withered from hunger, with a shaggy beard framing a face made old much too soon. You got my pigeon, finally. I've been sending them to Ranger Citadel for weeks. Are you here to kill that psycho Danforth? Can you get me back to my farm? Where is your farm? Right here. This! This is my farm. This is my land. These are my pigeons. The bleeping red scorpions or... RSM Enterprises, as they call themselves these days, stole it all from me. Security taxes, cow license fees, wheat allergy fund, and just... They kept chipping away at me until I couldn't I couldn't pay anymore. Then this farmer Jim guy came in and offered to buy it from me and bring me on as an overseer. Well, what can I do? I took the deal. I've been regretting it ever since. The price farmer Jim paid me was just enough to clear my debt to the scorpions, but not enough for me to leave. So I started working for him, but he pays in scrip. Never enough for me to save up. I'm a slave on my own farm, and there's no escape, not unless you run the scorpions out of town. I remember what the rangers can do. What do you remember about the rangers? 
I was a kid when you guys had your headquarters here, and I always loved to watch you guys head out on patrol. You were heroes to me then. I, I want to be heroes. I want you to be the heroes to the whole town now, and save these people from Danforth and his scorpions. You've got to rid the prison of them. And who is Farmer Jim? I don't know who he is. Somebody said he's the brother or uncle of Commander Danforth, the leader of the Red Scorpions. Whoever he is, he doesn't get he doesn't pay any pig taxes or feed transport tariffs. And that kindly old man acts acts kindly old man act is bullcrap too. He might not beat us, but he sure as hell orders the foreman to beat us. Well, that's that, I suppose. Sorry, guys. It's it's late again. I shouldn't do recordings at late late at night. I get I get befuddled, and usually I'm rushing as well. So we'll try to we'll try to slow it down a little bit. Did didn't you read the note I sent? His red scorpions are taking every other farm in the prison area and making slaves out of all the people who used to own them. You have to stop them or him. You have to get our farms back. Ooh. And listen, there's no point in killing the scorpions or Farmer Jim or the foreman here at the farm. Danworth will just send more scorpions and a new boss and more foreman to kill us all. You want to kill a scorpion, you got to cut off the head, and Danforth never comes out of the prison. So you got to get in there to do the job right. Understand me? Okay, what about the red scorpions? I didn't mind them so much when they were raiders. They'd come and steal a cow. Now that Danforth has taken over as leader, they want to own us. They've stolen our entire lives. You've got to stop them. Slaves. You are a slave. They call us employees, but that's bullcrap. They used all their tax scams to make sure we're all deep in debt to them. They pay us in script that we can only spend at the company store, and everything there is so expensive that we spend all of our pay just enough to get food and water to survive. There's no way any of us will ever be able to pay off our debt, and those foremans are nothing but prison guards. They stop us if we try to escape. They've even killed some of us. There is no best way. The gates are guarded by turrets that can cut a man in half in seconds. That's why we've given up hope. Nobody has ever made it to that gate. Nobody, but you're the Desert Rangers. Maybe you're tough enough, or smart enough, to beat those guns. Hmm. It's fake money, a way to make sure we don't escape. We can only spend it at the general store. It's no good anywhere else, and the exchange rate for real money is pathetic. And what about the foreman? Ha! They're nothing but red scorpions with straw hats on. They'll kill, they'll kill you as soon as look at you. Alright, so we do have to get into the prison, but it seems like the front path into it is a really, really not good idea. So, I could linger around here, walk around, do different stuff, but I think at this point I'm not gonna... Well, maybe I need to explore. What if I don't get myself into trouble? I'll just walk along. Are these people farmers or slaves? Something doesn't seem right. Hmm... There's got to be a back way in somewhere to the, the prison. Well, we don't have to deal with the turrets. Because it seems like a really, really not good idea. So just roll out on them. Right, there's a guy with a dog. There is a safe over here. Working tumbler and an alarm. Well... I don't know that it's necessarily going to be a good or a bad idea. Ooh, well, let's not risk it. I don't want to upset everybody just yet. I, I do actually want to, but I think it might be wise for me not to do that. Looks like if I can get my way through over this way, maybe there's going to be a path for me? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, maybe not. But maybe there's a cave. I don't know. I honestly do not know. But I feel like breaking through fences should be a little bit less stupid. Like, I should be able to go chop it down with my uh, thing. I don't think I should have to blow it up every time. Oh, hey, there we go. We were able to chop it that time. Well, good. That actually worked out well for me. I was just complaining about that, and they fixed it. Almost as if they knew I was going to complain about it. It's amazing, really. Maybe that's treasure loot. Ooh, a wooden, a wooden pin. Some energy cells. We will take those things, and we will be happy with it. Hmm. Well, as much fun as that was, it doesn't seem like that actually gained me anything. There is a box over here, but you know what, guys? I think I'm going to have to break off the episode. Unfortunately... 
My time was rather limited today, and it seems like it might even be up at this point. So we will see. Alright, I was able to get into that. We'll check out the treasure loot. We'll get a few more bullets over here, and then that's pretty much going to do it, I dare say. Come over here, and in the next episode, we will figure out what to do to actually handle this. As it stands right now, we are in an interesting and somewhat awkward position. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit odd. But we'll continue to loot the treasure. I'll put some sutra kits on the people with sutra. And I guess you could have a few more shotgun bullets on the snow globe. In the next episode, maybe we murder everyone in the farm. Maybe we don't. Either way, we're going to have to find our way into the prison. And hopefully that doesn't end disastrously. Like, I have a pretty good feeling it's going to. I don't imagine we can sneak past the turrets in any way. We would enter the kill zone, and I bet you they're actually pretty darn tough. So, what I think I'm going to do is just log out right where I'm at and then figure out what I'm going to do in the next episode. That way, you guys can see all my misconstrued and ill-conceived plans and be like, uh, this is Bumpy guy. Yeah, he doesn't know what Nagy's doing. He's terrible. And I'll be like, mm-hmm, you're darn right. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you next time with more Wasteland 2. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.